Welcome to this edition of the International Maritime Arbitration Moot. Watch this video to learn more about the case and the issues that the teams will be dealing with. Let's first look at the facts. In the present instance, there are three parties involved. Caspian Traders Limited, here and after referred to as Caspian, Tawe Limited, here and after referred to as Tawe, and Armadoris Cruise SA, here and after referred to as Cruise. Caspian was the party shipping 20 hydrogen fuel cell converters, each costing 30,000 US dollars per unit. The shipment was to be delivered from Santos to Chennai through the MV Odysseus, owned by Tawi. A bill of lading was issued on the Combicon 2016 form. However, the bill did not mention the value of the goods. The goods were shipped on 25th November 2020. Certain additional clauses were made in the bill, specifically subjecting the bill to the English law, with all disputes to be settled through arbitration in SCMA in Singapore. Further, the clause provided that any and all liability in the carrier shall cease once the goods are discharged from the Odysseus. The clauses also mention the carrier to be liable to only $500 US per unit in case of loss or damage. Lastly, the Bill of Lading was subjected to the Hague Rules and the 11th clause of the Combicon Bill was removed. On the 1st of December, the Odysseus arrived at Cartagena, Colombia. Tawi discharged its cargo and transshipped it to the Hidalgo owned by Cruz. Tawi received a Bill of Lading by Cruz, which was also based on the 2016 Combicon Bill form. This bill did not mention the value of the goods as well. The port of shipment for this bill was Cartagena and Chennai was the port of discharge. Tawe was assigned as the shipper and consignee. This bill contained certain additional addendums as well. Firstly, it subjected the bill to English law and disputes to be settled by the SCMA in Singapore. Secondly, it deleted Clause 11 of the Combicon Bill form. Under the Paramount Clause, the bill was subjected to the Hague Rules 1924. However, it did not seek to apply Article 9 of the said rules. Lastly, the clause limited the carrier's liability for any loss or damage whatsoever to a sum of £1,000 sterling per unit. During the voyage between Cartagena and Chennai, the vessel encountered a hurricane and the store collapsed, which resulted in the cargo being lost. The loss was admittedly to Cruz's lack of due diligence, resulting in failure to correct a fault in the vessel's weather radar before departure from Cartagena. Caspian issued a claim for arbitration against Tawe and Cruz. In both proceedings, Caspian claimed US$600,000 for the loss of the converters a figure which was claimed to represent their market value. Thus, the major issues for consideration under the present case are Firstly, the liability of Tawe and Cruz for the loss of the converters. Secondly, the quantum of damages if liability was so accrued between the parties for the loss. And lastly, on the composition of the arbitral tribunal. In this edition, we look to host you all in an event larger in scale than previous editions and eagerly await all participants, judges and audiences.